I Apollo Get the band on my system, just wanna let you know I can be soft on the outside Cause I'd rather not have to start fights But don't be testing my inner patience You don't wanna cross that line. Oh, don't try to attack me Don't try to fight me You better run Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's so good to see you all. I missed every single one of you. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Happy Thursday. It is almost the weekend. Thank goodness. Hello. I hope everybody's doing good. How's it going, everybody? What's everybody up to? Let's see who we got in the chat. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Steph. How are you? Hi, Linda. Hi, Morgana. Hi, Kay. Hi, Wendy. Wendy says she's watching from Australia. I'm so glad you're here. Wendy. Hi, Joe. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Diamond Days. Lita, Lita. And let's see who else we got here. If I miss anybody, I apologize. There's Mama B. Mama B drilling. Hi, how are you? Hi, Veronica. Veronica, I have a picture to send you at the end of this live. I will send it to you once we get off of here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How is everybody? Hi, Michelle. How's it going? Steph says she's laying in bed, but about to name paint. Very good. Matt's out to work, out with work friends, and he's bringing home a longhorn. That sounds amazing. So while we're on the topic of that, what is everybody having for dinner? Or what did you already have for dinner? <laughs> you know I gotta ask. <laughs> I get good ideas for meals from you guys. <laughs> Veronica says, bring me Longhorn. <laughs> Sounds good. We had steaks last night and they were really good. Oh, rice and eggs. That sounds so good, actually. I love rice and eggs. Hi, Cindy. Cindy Lee. She says that 
She is a first time, first time here. Well, I'm glad you're here, Cindy. Welcome on in. <laughs> I think you just got proposed to, Veronica. <laughs> she says, I would if you were my wife. <laughs> Brenda says, just got, oh, just got mowing down <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> Ooh, tacos. Stacy had tacos. Oh, my little one just discovered them yesterday. Oh, so precious. Hi, Shay. Thank you, Shay. <laughs> I think this is the first time you guys have seen me with my hair up. I don't usually wear it up. But uh, I was running around like a mad woman, and I was like, okay, it's got to just go up in a bun, because I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> yeah, rice and eggs, and sp add some spam, perfect comfort meal. Hi, Melanie. <laughs> How are you? We had chili tonight. <laughs> Cooter's supposed to be my sister wife, but she won't move in. <laughs> Are you like long distance sister wives? <laughs> so who is diamond painting or no cinnamon in that chili? My God, no, never. Not allowed in this house ever. <laughs> yes, congrats, Shay. That is so exciting. <laughs> I miss Shay's live on Sunday and I was so bummed and I feel like I have been like just so behind on YouTube recently. It's bumming me out. I, I missed you guys last week and I missed doing my whipping chat last week. It just really has not been cool. Uh, what is Longhorn? Longhorn is a steakhouse here in the States, okay? And they have really delicious food steaks and uh all kinds of good good stuff i can't remember the last time i've been to a longhorn though i think the last steakhouse i went to was probably texas roadhouse <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's see i have i feel like i have lots of things to tell you show you share with you <laughs> But I'm more interested to see what you guys got going on first. <laughs> Flo's filet and lobster tail and their shrimp and lobster chowder. That sounds amazing. Hi, Sherilyn. How are you? Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is that time of year. If I don't know if Caden is going to pop in. Caden is graduating and it's that time of year. Yes. Okay. So this. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you. So I do have the website in the background here. If I can get my chat to move out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, Shay says, have reservations at Ford's Garage at 7 Central parents are in town. Ooh, that will be fun. Sorry, I'm just trying to organize here. <laughs> oh, you're still working on hugs for hiccup, Brenda? Me too. I have one square left and then I'm going to be done. What do they have at Ford's Garage? <laughs> Shopee. Okay, yes. So here, this is one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys about, which maybe you already saw my post on Instagram and already saw Breeze Live um, the other day, but I am so excited. Ooh, burgers and beer. Yes. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> um... So I am, I've decided that I'm going to move um, Lexi Sparklecraft from Etsy over to a standalone website. And so this is it. This is what you're looking at here in this little square. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. It's kind of tiny in this little uh, 
square here. So this is it. It is it is really fun, Brenda. I'm loving it. I'm actually kind of sad that I'm almost done with it because I really like working on this kit. <laughs> Um, so this is the website so far. It's going to launch tomorrow at 5 p.m. There's a couple things that I, like little loose end things I have to tie up, make sure the tax stuff is okay and all that good stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys because you're my friends and I was excited about it. <laughs> um, but it's just so much cooler. Um, I don't know if you can see down in the corner here, but there's a rewards program and it's called Super Sparkles. So what you can um, become a member and then it's kind of like the same as Diamond Art Club has when you buy something you get points on your birthday you get points and then you can use those points for money off on your next purchase. I feel like that is an amazing thing to be able to do for my customers which Etsy has some things that you can do for um, like little ways to say thank you to customers, but I feel like a rewards program is just so much more fun. <laughs> um, also down here in the corner, there's a wish list. So once you make an account on here, um, you can make a wish list and keep track of things that you want, if you wanted to do that. <laughs> um, so there's just so many more functions on here that I really, really like. And then, um, so it's, we've got the core collection trays on here. And um, I did bring over some of the reviews from Etsy, so you might see your name on here. <laughs> uh, I will still take custom orders, and so there is a tab up here for custom orders. And it tells you all about how we can do custom orders still. There is an announcements page, which is really fun. So I've already put up an announcement about our event in June. And there's a contact page so that if you want to message me, you can. Um, I feel like there was something else. There's going to be a gallery. So I'll have pictures of the different customs and different special trays um, that I've done so that people can look at them and get ideas and just kind of see what there is. What, what trays that I've made. Um, so I was working on the gallery before I came live and it's just not up there yet, but that'll be up there tomorrow. So yes, very exciting. Let me get back to chat and see what you guys are saying. <laughs> so I'm excited about it. I think there's just so much more functionality um, in a standalone website. And it's funny because I've been watching some videos on like how to set this up and a lot of people kind of have the same story where like they started on Etsy and they kind of like outgrew Etsy and moved on to a standalone website. So it just kind of seems to be like the natural <laughs> progression. So uh, I'm excited about it. Let me see what you guys are saying. Ooh, Shay said burgers, chicken sandwiches, yummy mac and cheese. Sounds amazing. <laughs> You guys are so sweet. Thank you for all your kind comments. <laughs> Veronica said, so I just need to start direct depositing my check to you. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. You're, you guys are so sweet and supportive. Thank you so much. Hi, Catherine. How are you? <laughs> Oh, Sherilyn, don't worry about it. <laughs> she says, Ack, I need to get my review submitted. <laughs> Hi, Laura. It's so good to see you. <laughs> She's worse than me. I think she got that job just to buy trace. <laughs> Hi, Jen Noel. How are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Satya. How are you? It's good to see you. Welcome in, everybody. So yes, so tomorrow at 5 p.m. I should have this all wrapped up and it will be ready to go. I'm going to keep the, hi Miss Cat Lady, I am going to keep the Etsy side open still um, while I transition over. I still have open orders on there and um, I also don't want to just pull it out from under people, <laughs> especially if people like to shop on Etsy, so that's that. So I'm very excited about it. I'm going to be adding more stuff to it um, 
over time, but I'm very excited. I, I just like the idea of having a website where I can actually make it my own and add different features to it. So it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. And there's so many different little like apps and uh, things that you can add to it. So I'm still playing with all the little tools that they have. <laughs> so that's that. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about <laughs> I've been hearing about your, I've been hearing from Shay about the trays. <laughs> Shay is so sweet. She always does the best like unboxing videos and she talks about them in her videos and a lot of people do actually. Uh, um, I appreciate the fact that people do that. It's like amazing to me that people um, take take the time to do that. It's really, really nice and amazing. And I feel a little bit guilty because I have some things that I've bought from small shops that I want to do videos on and I haven't had time and I, I really want to do it because I want to support the small businesses in our community too. So, uh, I really appreciate when people do that and I want to give back <laughs> too. So I, I do need to do some videos for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's so much more independent than Etsy and it um it is nice to be able to have some creative control over it. <laughs> Thank you, Lita. <laughs> hey, the diamond stitcher. <laughs> Oh, Stacy, <laughs> I can't Damon paint without your trays now. I used to always lose everything. Me too. That, like, my pens would, like, roll everywhere, and I would lose every, just lose everything, and, um, I'm kind of, like, scatterbrained and all over the place anyway, so yeah, <laughs> they help me keep a little bit organized. <laughs> <laughs> So I did want to mention about, yeah, that's the thing, like, I feel like so torn about that, like, cause, um, like I like Etsy and I appreciate like what Etsy is, like it's, what's nice about Etsy is like it's a marketplace and people can find you just by searching there and through their algorithm and stuff like that. Um, but the fees do seem to be an issue for a lot of, I mean, I just hear that comment like so often that it does seem to be more expensive than other sites. <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, so the, the other thing I wanted to talk about was diamonds and diversity. I think everybody probably already knows about diamonds and diversity, but I just wanted to mention it in case anybody didn't know about it. Um, also, just as a reminder that it's coming up. So, um, Brie and I are hosting Diamonds and Diversity in June. It starts June 1st, runs through June 30th, and it is to celebrate Pride Month. Um, and so, we are we're doing a diamond painting event, and you can pick any canvas that symbolizes pride. Um, there's not a size requirement. It doesn't have to be a new start. A finish is not required either. <laughs> um, there is a, um, Google form that you can fill out in order to, um, participate for prizes and we'll be drawing the prizes every week during our whip and chat. Oh, that's a good point, Lita. So, um, on the form, there is a spot where we are going to have you upload your starting picture. I think you can go back in and edit the form, Lita. So if you want to fill it out now, but then go back and upload the picture afterwards, I think you can do that. I'm pretty sure. Bree set up the form, but I think she was telling me that you can go in and edit it. Yeah, Steph. Um, it, I used to do Etsy like a long, long time ago, and it is a lot different <laughs> now. Yes, okay, and so we have a Facebook group. 
Uh, Tanya, thank you for mentioning that. We have a Facebook group for the event and we have almost 50 members now. So let me get you the link for that. If anybody wants to join the Facebook group, we will be uh, hanging out in there and um, just chatting and showing our pictures and having a good time in there. <laughs> Oh, stuff. <laughs> just read that second part. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, so I am doing um, Paisley by um, Jasmine Beckett Griff Griffith. <laughs> and um, I'll pull it up, actually. I'll show you guys. It's really, really pretty. I'm very very um excited to start it this is her <laughs> she's so cute Catherine said i already enlisted with the google forum and the and the one with the pities approved it <laughs> now i just need to kit up yes so i've got mine kitted up and i want to start it right now I think I might start mine before June because I'm slow with diamond painting and so, um, and it's squares and I'm really slow. Um, but I might start it now. Um, so you don't have to have a new start. So if you want to start it now, you can to get a jump start on it. Um, but you know, up to you what you want to do. So yes, I'm very excited. I can't wait to start her. And I have some fun little things planned that I'm going to do for this kit um, if I get my Timu order in time, which I think I will because Timu is pretty fast. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> um, so yes, so I put the Facebook group link in there. So if you want to join, you can. Um, not required to participate in the event. It's just for fun. Um, we're just going to ask, though, that when people post their um, progress pictures, either on Instagram or on um, Facebook, use the hashtag, hashtag Diamonds and Diversity 2023, and then we're going to use your pictures that you're tagging in a montage um, video to show everybody's artwork and their progress and stuff like that. Um, so Brenda says, Hey, sweetie, I hate to dart out. I'll catch the replay. I have an important call. No problem, Brenda. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. <laughs> Tanya said, I got love is love kitted up and ready to go. Uh, I think that one is DAC, right? Kay was asking. I think it is DAC. Uh, Linda says, just ask Shay. She has Timu. <laughs> She's got all the Timu. <laughs> Actually, she influenced me to buy another one of those Elizabeth Ward dupes. <laughs> so I've ordered one of those. <laughs> Bye, Brenda. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Oh, Catherine says, in four, day, four days is my birthday. Afterwards, I'll get up. Oh, well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Catherine in four days. <laughs> so I think some people are doing the same kit as me. I believe Sherilyn is going to do the same kit. And, um, ooh, we got 53 members now. Yes, Wendy, the Timu is so addictive. And now my husband is addicted. <laughs> um, I think a couple people are doing Paisley. I think um, I think Sherilyn is, and I think Billy is as well. Um, so I'm excited about that. And a couple other people said they had ordered this painting, but I don't know if they were going to do it for the event or not, but but so many pretty pictures. I, I'm so excited to see everybody's artwork. So yes, so my husband is addicted to Timu now and he is like 
showing me things. Like, he's like, look, I can get all these, I don't know, things for the garage and stuff. So it's so funny. And then he was, like, showing his friends it as well. And, like, one of his friends was like, is this a scam? And he's like, no, it's real. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Linda. <laughs> I might have started something. I might have started something with Timu. <laughs> so, um, oh yes. So the other important thing about the event is, um, because we're doing it for Pride Month, we also wanted to do a little bit of um, something for like awareness and um, something for a good cause. So we will also be doing a fundraiser for um, the Trevor Project. And so we have created, I don't know why I have this thing in the way. Okay. We've created a team page for Yay, Kaden is here. Hello, Kaden. Kaden, congratulations. <laughs> we, I was just saying earlier that I wish that you were here um, so that I could say congratulations because con um, Kaden is graduating and it's very exciting. <laughs> so I was just, Kaden, I'm just talking about the event that we're doing next month. Um... So we're, we have a, uh, a team page and we're going to be doing a fundraiser for the Trevor Project, which is an organization that works with LGBTQ plus youth and um, they work on offering counseling services and um, mental health services and things like that. So, um, and I'm excited because we've already raised $21 and we haven't even started the event yet. So that's exciting. Um, and then one more thing, we also have some t-shirts, um, for the event and all of the proceeds, um, will go towards the, Tre the Trevor Project. Um, so let me get the link for that in case anybody is interested. Yes, congrats, Kaden. We're pr <clears throat> proud of you. Uh, So the t-shirts are on Teespring, and let me pull one of them up so hopefully you can see it. They say Diamonds and Diversity 2023, a diamond painting event, and I contacted uh, Teespring and I asked them to donate all of the profits off of um, this merch to the Trevor Project, and they set that up so it will just automatically go from my account over there. Um, but I will share with everybody how much exactly we make from that and how much gets donated after the event is over. So I ordered mine already and I'm hoping it's going to be here next week. So that's exciting. <laughs> yes, yeah, very exciting, Kaden. So I think that was all I had to show you there. <laughs> Okay, I get a drink of water. So did anybody buy anything fun or do anything fun last weekend? I have a couple pens that I got. <clears throat> Tiny said, yes, it's from DAC. Snack says, oh, you have several whips going. <laughs> so I have a little bit of show and tell. Let me uh, minimize my screen here. 
I need to do an unboxing on these probably and do a full like video video but you know me I get excited and I want to show you guys stuff um Ooh, Jewel of the Sea and a pen for the event. Oh my goodness. Um, what kind of pen did you get? Sorry, I'm messing with this so that I can... There we go. <laughs> you guys, I went a little crazy with Peachy Keen this past weekend. And I got some pens from them. I got uh, this really cool clear one with butterflies in it. And of course my camera is not going to show it. Ooh, Catherine says she got... Oh, Lita, I did see your comment about that actually, that you got the muted rainbow. Um, and I did see that one, yes. <laughs> Um, so I got this one from Peachy Keen with the butterflies in it, and I thought this one would be good for the event, um, in addition to the, um, other one that I have. <laughs> and then I got this light lavender one. And then I got this blue and white one that has a butterfly on it. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a little butterfly charm on it. I just love their pens. I go like crazy for them. And um, I went a little nuts this week. Ooh, Kaden, you mean the key, the keychain I'm supposed to send you <laughs> that I haven't sent you yet? <laughs> I, this new Starlight pen is really pretty. That color way that they have is really pretty. <laughs> yes. Oh, dealing with Karens at work. That's the worst. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Ooh, Stacy says I ordered a, a pen from Butterfly Effect Wears. Oh, it might not be in for the event. Oh. <laughs> the fake bread is a problem. I know. It really looks realistic. I don't know. It makes me happy. And it's very squishy. <laughs> so the lavender one was like the one that I wanted. And I was like, I got to make sure I get that one. And then, uh, I don't know what happened. I got crazy. <laughs> and got some other ones. Uh-oh, Linda, <laughs> your son had to fire a Karen. That can't be good. <laughs> no offense to the Karens out there. There are plenty of Karens that are lovely people, but you know what we mean. <laughs> oh, instead of the stars having put dolphins in it. That sounds awesome. I know, carbs. Carbs are everything. <laughs> Oh, good night, Cindy. I hope you have a good night. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'm glad you stopped in. <clears throat> I also got some um, pretty placers, which I know these aren't new and everybody probably well, already knows about them, but um, I had not tried them before. And so I got some to try and I really, really like them. Um, and they smell amazing. So one of these boxes is empty because I'm already using it, but I got, this one is like strawberry Moscato, I think, uh, bubbly Moscato pink, that smells pretty good, 
and then this one is blackberry preserves I think Berry preserves. They smell so good, but they work really well. And that was, that's the important thing is they work really well for ABs. Ooh, two Chuck Pinson, hope runs deep and sees the day. So far only bought Chuck Pins. You love your Chuck Pinson canvases. <laughs> I remember the first time um, that you came in here, you were talking about how you did coasters and then you started doing Chuck Pinson. <laughs> oh, um, Linda, the pens or the pretty placers. They look like crayons and um, they're wax. They're like diamond painting wax. And I got them on Etsy. And they're, I got them because I always have troubles with ABs. Um, and I wanted to try these with ABs and they work really, really well. And so they just pick up the the drills really well and they don't pull the coating off the ABs or anything they're really really nice so I do like them a lot let me find the link to her shop actually sorry I uh, should have grabbed the link for it Oops, let me put it in the chat for you. Oh, okay. So Lita says, I like Patty Wax Super Sticky for ABs. I should try that, actually, because I have not tried that yet. Um, I haven't tried Patty Wax yet. I should do that. I should try that as well. Yes, Kaden, I'm on the floor again. <laughs> Always on the floor. Not really. <laughs> Steph, did you order your food? <laughs> Should we take a look at... Oh, Wendy said, where's... Uh, where's there a good place to get thin multi-placers? I go through so many. Um, so do you like the plastic ones or do you like metal ones? Because Hi, Nancy. How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Stuff says Pretty Placers is actually the daughter of Patty Wax. I didn't know that. Interesting. You like the plastic ones? I bet you they have, um, I bet you you can get the plastic ones on Amazon or Timu, I bet. Does anybody know? I know where you can get some good thin ones that are metal, but I'm not sure about the plastic ones. Yay! Did you, did you like it, Nancy? <laughs> Nancy was a sparklegram person last week. <laughs> I sent the order here. Thing. It's from my husband. <laughs> I'm always paranoid I'm going to do that. Like, I'm always paranoid I'm accidentally going to send some, like, the wrong message to somebody. Like, um, every morning I always, my husband always texts me the minute he gets to work. So, like, I'm always sending a text to him back in the morning. But then I usually always text Bree as well in the morning. And I'm like, one of these days, I'm probably going to accidentally send something that was meant for my husband to Bree, and it's probably going to be something inappropriate. <laughs> I should probably just apologize in advance. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so Wendy says she likes the four placers. I probably have some, Wendy, that if you want them, I'll send them to you. Because I don't use the plastic ones anymore. <clears throat> Wendy, send me your... Send me an email. Here. And I'll look and see if I have some. I'm pretty sure that I do. And if I do, I'll send them to you. <laughs> Oh, Nancy says she has some she can send you, too. Tammy says, I was upset with my sister above and what sent her the text instead of my older sister. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, I'm always paranoid I'm going to do something like that. Oh, my goodness. I am always paranoid I'm going to, like, send the wrong thing or email the wrong thing. Steph said, I did that when I was pregnant. I sent something to my neighbor. I was out, out with, about her to her husband instead of to my husband. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I sent a saucy text to my window cleaner. It was meant for my hubby. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Everybody send your most embarrassing texting stories. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, I'm sure I've done something. Uh, I'm sure I've done something like that. My mind is like going blank though. <laughs> I always check the name at the top of the screen before hitting send. <laughs> I do that too, Stacy, where I'll type something out and I forget to hit the, the send button. And I'm like, oh, I guess I didn't send it. <laughs> I was with my neighbor at Walmart and she was calling my baby, her baby, when she was picking out clothes. I texted her by accident talking about how crazy she was instead of mad. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is crazy. Ah, uh, I would be concerned about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Catherine says, you make trays, and I do not use trays. I paint like a Neanderthal. No trays. Diamonds directly from the containers. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> oh, thank goodness things can be unsent these days. The unsent thing never works for me, though. Like, I swear people always just, like, see what I sent. I, I've definitely sent, like, emails to wrong people before, but nothing, like, too embarrassing, I don't think. I always do that thing where I send an email, and I'm like, oh, see the attached such and such, and then I don't attach it, and then I have to send a second email and be like, hmm, sorry, I forgot to attach it, here it is. I always do that. <laughs> she talked about kidnapping him and how she's on hormones to make her lactate. Oh my god. You're not still friends with this person, are you? <laughs> yeah, did you move after that? <laughs> that is horrifying. <laughs> but it reminds me of, uh, there was a story like a couple weeks ago, or not weeks ago, there was a story a couple years ago where a lady, uh, out of state, yeah, kidnapped her friend's baby. Like, that stuff does happen. <laughs> I sent him a sack pick, a sack pick. <laughs> and like a ding dong he opened it up right in front of the doctor <laughs> that's sometimes when I open up Twitter in public I have to be careful because on Twitter you never know what is going to be right there when you open it up and I've opened it up a couple times like in the doctor's office and I'm like oh no who can see this because there's 
always something inappropriate. Or even on Instagram, sometimes I find there's, like, inappropriate stuff on there. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> So does anybody have big plans for this weekend? My husband and I have been, uh, oh, a saucy pick. Got it. I was thinking sack pick, like, uh, it, like, in the bed, <laughs> like, in the bed pick. <laughs> uh, my husband and I went to, um, we've been on this kick of, like, wanting to go to garage sales, and so, uh, we went to some garage sales this past weekend, and then we decided to go to the flea market, and boy, let me tell you, that was an experience. We, um, did a lot of good people watching. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> I was sitting here like, do I want to know what a sack pack is? <laughs> oh, you know. You know what it is. <laughs> Oh, Nancy said, my mother-in-law is here from Montana. I've never been to Montana. I would really like to visit Montana sometime, I think. <laughs> Texted my downstairs neighbor about canceling plans. <laughs> Cramps and needed a heating piss. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Montana looks beautiful. I would love to visit out there. Ooh, Kay says, we need a new kitchen, so we're looking at showrooms this weekend. Nice. That sounds exciting. Yeah, that does sound fun, actually, Tammy. <laughs> I don't think we have any big plans, but I'll tell you what, though. Not this weekend, but the weekend after. It's a holiday here in the States, and so we have the Monday off, but we also took off the Friday and the Tuesday so we're going to have a five-day weekend, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I haven't had, like, a good break like that in a while, and so I can't wait to just kind of chill, hoping we can open up the pool. Maybe I can read and just kind of chill out a little bit. That would be good. Ooh, Jen says, I'm going to a wedding and spending a couple of nights at a beach resort where the wedding is taking place to have a mini vacation. That sounds awesome. That sounds fun. Stacy is craft shopping. Need to get stuff to keep us busy here for a month. Ooh, okay. What kind of craft shopping? Like, what kind of stuff are you going to get? <laughs> yes, Kay, I can't wait. I'm hoping to do, definitely do some reading. Um... And, of course, you know, I need to, like, clean and organize and work on trays and, you know, stuff like that. Ooh, Morgana says, we're going to try and open the pool this weekend. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to get my pool open. I just like to float around in it. Maybe have a margarita. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to finish my paint gem for the, from the other day, maybe. I don't know. I always start diamond painting on these lives and then I don't finish. <laughs> Jay. Ooh, in Texas, the pools are never covered open all year round. That is so nice. I'm jealous. Ooh, you guys are leaving tomorrow. That sounds really fun. I would love to go to the beach. <laughs> Love, love, love. Oh, I think I was actually done with this color. <laughs> Float around and relax. Yes. I love, like, big, we have, like, the big floaty chairs, and we have, like, the little drink things that float around, too. It's really, really fun. Ooh, probably some diamond paintings and paintings uh, for my little one. I have to keep her from rough housing, maybe some jewelry making things. That would be really fun. Um, this one, this uh, paint gem is from the fruit kit. Um, it's a really cute kit. It's got, um, let me grab them. 
it's really cute. It's got like a whole bunch of different fruits. Um, and this is like the first one I've done <laughs> so far, but they're really, really cute. I thought they'd be good for summertime. I had a hard time recognizing what each of these were. <laughs> if you were here for the live stream when I unboxed these, I was like, I don't know what half of these are. <laughs> yes, well, look at the new releases uh, today. <laughs> They're not Chuck Benson's. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a look at them. Hi, Berta. Oh my God, this is a Berta pen. Look at that. This is the perfect Berta pen. Berta, when did you sneak in here? <laughs> oh, Nancy says, my husband is going over to the base and picking up my DP, the kiss from the frame shop. Ooh. That's exciting. I need to get a couple of mine framed. Um, I think I'm going to get Hugs for Hiccup framed because I'm just really in love with it. <laughs> She's already snatched about 10 diamond paintings that pens I don't use. <laughs> Berta, how's it going? What you up to? Are you diamond painting? <laughs> I was gonna start um I was gonna start diamond painting but maybe we should look at the new releases maybe that's a better idea thanks Kate this is so this is from peachy keen pens but um Brie actually bought this for me as a gift and sent it to me and it was so funny because we were talking on the phone and I said that I really wanted this and then she bought it while I was talking to her on the phone and then I went back to look and it was gone and I was really mad and then she sent it to me <laughs> uh, yeah that's I wondered if I should pay money to have it framed or if I should frame it myself I'm not sure I don't know that I'm that good at framing stuff. <laughs> but yes, I think if you're going to like hang it in your bedroom and you'll see it every day and it's kind of a special piece that it makes sense to, um, it makes sense to get it like professionally framed, I guess. Okay. Yes. Let's look at the, um, Let's look at the new releases. Let's do that instead. Berta just got off work and she's painting now. Let's take a look. Um, Steph, let's look at your page first. <laughs> Shall we? I think you need to tell Brie you lost it <laughs> and mail it to me. <laughs> A few people did mention what kits they were working on. Um, and we were talking about, well, specifically what we were going to do like for the event. Um, so I'm doing Paisley for the event. What is everybody else? I know Tanya's doing Love is Love. And my mind has gone blank about what other people are doing, though. <laughs> oh, Stitcherista. I don't know if I have seen how she does the Hannah Lynn's. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Ooh, Warhorse. Sherilyn's doing Paisley. I need to check that out. I don't think I've seen how she does the framing of those. I need to look at that. <gasps> Jen Noel's doing Foxy Lady, which I love that painting, and I have that one in my stash now. 
And I want to do that one too. I wish I was faster. <laughs> Oh, Kay finished Hugo Heg. I never know if it's Hugo Hedge or Hugo Heggy. <laughs> Stacy said, I'm going to be doing a dolphin one that I have started. Very nice. Oh, yes, the Muni made Rainbow Cloud. That one's really cute. So I wanted to look at Lazy River uh, because I know Steph was posting some stuff. Oh my gosh, this owl is so cute. Wait a minute. She had posted... Where is it? There was an announcement. Oh yes, here we go. I hope everybody can see this okay. <clears throat> My paisley is squares, um, and I don't believe there was an option. I think that it was just squares, and I don't think there was a size option either. Ooh, chroma flower, pretty, pretty. Oh, nice, Nancy. You got War, Ho War Horse from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Uh, I found that you can get a lot of good clearance ones, um at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby sometimes. Like I got a Diamond Dots that was on clearance from um, Michael's. <laughs> Ooh, Twisted Blossom is really pretty too. So that's the one that you're doing for the event. Oh, yours is round, Sherilyn. Okay. I'm really slow at squares, so hopefully I'll be able to make some good progress on it. <laughs> so Lazy River um, put out that um, announcement for some uh, new artists that they're adding. So she wrote, proud to announce the latest addition to the Lazy Family Lazy River family of artists. Um, these freaking adorable images have been gratefully licensed to us by the fantastic... I'm not sure what that name is. It's too far away. I can't see it. <laughs> this is so adorable. This is so cute. <laughs> yes, I'm just... We were going to start looking at like what's coming up. Um, and I had seen earlier this announcement, so I wanted to look at this before we <laughs> go look at DAC. <laughs> oh, renders are in the story. Okay. Oh, yeah, Linda, you can do that. I think you have my email address, don't you? Um, but yes, you can email me about that. My son worked, who worked on a cruise ships had a tip I wanted to pass on. Yes, absolutely. You can email me. There's a story time. One with the frog butt. <laughs> I love frogs. And so this one speaks to me for sure. I love the little mushroom and the frogs. Oh my God. These are adorable. These are, oh my God, look at his little fanny pack. Oh my God, these are so cute. Here, Linda, I'll put it in the chat. Oh my God, I'm all capitals. There you go. <laughs> I think Michaels isn't doing diamond dots anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea to donate Warhorse to your friend's barn. That would be really cute. These are really cute. I want this little mushroom one with the little, <laughs> it's got a little fanny pack on. Oh my goodness. These are so sweet. Oh my goodness, there's a little frog butt, look. <laughs> 
Albert Beardstead among the Sierra Nevada for the oh the masters in the summer I did order a painting to maybe do the masters in the summer but I'm so hopelessly slow at diamond painting I don't know if I'll be able to participate <laughs> I the mushrooms are killing me they're so cute I like the little frog butt <laughs> Cute, cute. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, I wanted to take a peek at those because I saw those coming up and I was like, those are so cute. The little butt crack is so cute. <laughs> Too cute. So, uh, let's go check out Diamond Art Club. <laughs> See, Nancy, I think you're on the same page with me. <laughs> she said, I did summer with the masters last summer, but it took me nine months to finish. That's where I'm at. Pro I'm probably even longer for me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, see, Linda says, that's me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's another animal artist, Zong, Zong Kia. I hope I'm saying, I'm probably, I'm not saying that right, I'm sure. I'm terrible with pronunciation sometimes. Ooh, I just got a text from DAC saying they restocked fan favorites. Did they restock? Uh, that Marvel one that I want? <laughs> Let's see. No. I don't think so. <laughs> Summer is hard. Yeah, I just want to be outside and uh, summer's going to be hard for sure. <laughs> Diamond painting. Oh my goodness. This one looks familiar. For a second, I thought I, like, had seen this one before, but I don't think... I have a little cottage one that kind of looks like this. <clears throat> looks like they restocked Magic Portal. Did I... Well, anyway, I'll look later. <laughs> this one is really pretty. <clears throat> so diamond, um, sorry, fairy dust diamond. Okay, so it's got five ABs and one fairy dust diamond. Square with 74 colors. It's 35.8 inches by 25.6. So I think it's fairly big, right? Doctor Strange is in low stock. Okay, so I ordered the Doctor Strange one. Is that the Magic Portal one? I ordered that one. Um, but I wanted the... Um, there was another one, like, with... Um, like, Thanos and then, like, all of the characters on it. Yeah, this one is really, really cute. Ooh, this one's really cool. Winter Queen by Diana Levin Art. Why do I know that name? Hi, Kat. How are you? It's good to see you. Yes, Balance. That's what it's called. Um, yes, balance. That is the one I wanted, and it was out of stock, so I signed up for a notification. <laughs> this one's really pretty. I feel like I know this name. 
Diana Levin. That name sounds so familiar. She has some pretty cool art. Twenty nine color oh round twenty nine colors and three ABs. Pretty cool. Oh, you so <clears throat> Alyssa said this one I sneak peeked. She's a new artist to DAC. I did her face already and have it in the video too. Oh cool. Okay. She does a lot of shows too. Oh, okay. She has horns like Angus Cattle from Scotland. <laughs> I like it. It's really cool. <laughs> she has these cool spikes on her shoulders too. That's really neat. Oh, let me I want to look at the render. Oh wow. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Bonnie White Folk Art. Um, Harborside Carolers. Wow, this is probably a big one as well, right? 35.4 inches by 27.6 inches. Square, 54 colors, 5 ABs. Wow. I can't get into the winter ones right now. <laughs> Like, this one's really pretty. I just can't get into, like, the winter theme right now because it's, I'm just not even thinking about that. It's really, really cute, though. And I think this is one where I like the rendered picture better than the original. It's really cute. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be a big one, right? <laughs> the artist is Bonnie White folk art and we can click on her page and see oh wow oh look that looks like a puzzle I bet you that's a cool puzzle wow her Art is very like intricate and detailed. Oh, that's really cute. I just can't think about winter right now, though. <laughs> it's the only thing. <laughs> No horned beasts in my apartment, says Catherine. <laughs> oh, Cat C says she's a sucker for the confetti heavy kits. Yeah, all I see is confetti. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is I think I'm more of a color blocking girl myself. <laughs> Just because I'm so slow at it. <laughs> oh, this was, I was going to say, I know this one is, I've, I know I've seen this artist before because I recognize the style. Ina Morte. Letting go. 20 inches by 26 inches. Square, 37 colors, 2 ABs. I like the little lighthouse up here. What is this one called? Oh, Letting Go. Cute. <laughs> Lita says, I'm a confetti girl. Okay, so what does everybody like? I, I feel like maybe I, I did ask this before, but you like confetti or color blocking? I think I like color blocking. <laughs> I like confetti, but I might change my mind when I put up this J wall. <laughs> yeah. I like a good mix, more color blocking. I think it's, yeah, it's good to have a mix uh, for sure. I guess it is good to have a mix because I get bored if it, there's too much of one color. I do get bored of it. Um, and so I do like a mix 
of the t- yeah exactly cat yeah i do get bored but then when it's too confetti heavy i'm like ah. <laughs> but i ordered a thing from timu that is like a um it's like a tray with like six diamond painting trays in it that is supposed to help you with confetti so you can have six colors out at once and i'm gonna try that <laughs> Oh, Catherine, you single place. I think I do. I single place for the most part, except for when there's like a really big area of color blocking and then I bust out the multi-placer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So Nancy said, I like a little of both. I made myself a tray holder out of the Jenga block from the dollar store so that way I can switch easily. Interesting. Interesting. I need to take a look at that because I just ordered some. So I did have a, I had at one point something that I made that was like a tray holder and it was like, um, it was like a pla a little plastic box and I had like a bunch of the little green trays in it, but I couldn't stand the green trays. It was annoying me too much and so I just gave up on it. Um, so I'm hoping this other thing I ordered <laughs> might work. <laughs> Confetti is interesting and color blocking keeps it moving. I like that. That's uh, very smart. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. That'd be great. <laughs> Ooh. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. 20 inches by 26 inches, round, 49 colors. Ooh, 49 colors. Really? It didn't seem like there was that many colors in this. <laughs> Four ABs. It's pretty cool. I like Spider-Man. My son basically said I have to buy this one. <laughs> well, you better get it then. <laughs> Hi, Elisa. How are you? I can't stand green trays either. Sorry for the late join. Oh, no problem at all. Just glad you're here. <laughs> I can't deal with the green trays because the biggest problem is, is that I get, like, I shake all, them too much and then the drills fly everywhere. <laughs> He'd probably disown me as mom if I did not. Yes. Well, I think as a mom, you must get this painting for your son. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. It's Blue's Clues. <laughs> Let's see, how big is this one? Oh, 13 by 18, 43 colors, two ABs, and two fairy dust diamonds. Oh my gosh, that one's going to be so cute. <laughs> Adorable. And a Spongebob one? I haven't done a Spongebob one yet. Yeah, I haven't done the Fairy Dust Diamonds yet either. I haven't had a kit yet. I mean, I have a kit in my stash with them, but I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> Does this one have Fairy Dust in it? No. So this is square... Oh my god, the traffic outside is crazy tonight. Um, this one is, uh, so it's 18 by 13 inches, square, 50 colors, three ABs. It's really cute. And I haven't done a, a SpongeBob yet.
cute, cute. I don't, this is not a new one, right? I think this one's been around. I think we hit the end of the new ones. Yeah. This one's really cute. I want to get this one too. I'm guessing this one's already sold out though. <laughs> Ooh, Halloween SpongeBob. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of clicking through these fast. Hmm. I think we looked at, oh no, we, oh no, we didn't look at these last week because I wasn't here last week. <laughs> we'll just click through them really quickly. We did see this one though before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So out of those new ones coming up, I think, is this one coming up this weekend? Yeah. So I think out of those coming up, I think the one I'd be the most inclined to get is probably the SpongeBob one, just cause I don't have a SpongeBob yet. <laughs> What would you guys pick if you were going to get one? I guess Veronica has to get the Spider-Man. There's no choice. <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to be disowned. <laughs> so tomorrow they'll announce other ones too, but, you know. Does anyone know the name of the canvas that has a very colorful turtle on it? It's a DAC. Hmm. I know which one you're talking about, but I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> None for you note so far. Maybe tomorrow's releases. Yeah. Usually I don't see too much before Friday and then Friday is when they hit you with the <laughs> he even asked me the size he even asked me the size with plans to do it himself and I told him he said it's okay just buy it even if it takes me a thousand years <laughs> that is so cute oh Dean Russo sea turtle <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Let's look. Let's see. Dean Russo. Let's see. Turtle. Is this it, Kay? Two of my wish lists did restock today waiting to purchase. Ooh, pending tomorrow's previews. Ooh, which wish lists did, were restocked? <clears throat> oh my goodness. My feet are starting to fall asleep. <laughs> I'll show you which ones I got today. <laughs> no, not that one? Okay. Magical Mama and Starry Night. I think I have Starry Night. So I ended up getting this one, uh, I ended up getting Captain America, and uh, Magical Portal. This is the one that I really, really wanted, um, and it they restocked it and then I was like looking at the other Marvel ones and I was like, ooh, you know what? I also want 
Uh, oh, this one. I got this one as well. And then the one that I really want is balance, but it's out of stock. So whenever that comes back in, I'll probably get that one. Uh, so, and I'm hoping that they get um, Guardians of the Galaxy or something, because I love Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy so much. So I'm hoping they pick something like that up sometime soon. That'd be cool. So let's see if we can find that turtle one for K. Is it still on there, you think? Or is it like an old discontinued kit? <laughs> Nancy says, yes, Guardians. Those are my favorite movies. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and I always, like, make my husband rewatch it because I love those movies so much. That and, like, Pirates of the Caribbean I love. I watch, I watch Pirates of the Caribbean every Christmas. It is, like, my favorite movies to watch for Christmas. I don't know why Christmas, but it just, it just is. <laughs> Turtle Diamond Art Club. We're going to find this picture, okay? Do any of these look like <laughs> the one you were looking for? <laughs> Oh, that is so cute, Nancy. <laughs> so I haven't seen the third one yet. I've only... The third one is the newest one, right? I had I haven't actually seen the newest one yet. I've only seen the first two. The one with the blue rays. Ooh, this one? It's called Turtle Reef. And it looks like it is discontinued. But Steph, okay, so Steph was saying Dean Russo was limited. I think he's with Dreamer now. So maybe he's Dreamer Designs now? I've never actually bought Dreamer Designs before. So many diamond paintings, so little time, I tell ya. Uh-oh, do they not sell to the UK? Uh, me too, Jen. <laughs> me too. So when I searched Dean Russo... Oh, sorry. That was not by Dean Russo. It's never mind. <laughs> this one is by Deborah Broughton. <laughs> oh, what's eating Gilbert Grape? I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, though. Maybe I need to rewatch that. That is a good movie. <laughs> so it looks like that one is uh, discontinued, K, but you might be able to find it like in a D stash somewhere. Alrighty, well, it's about that time. It's time for bed. <laughs> Does anybody have anything that they want to promote or announce? <laughs> Please make sure that you uh, check out everybody's channels. <laughs> 
that's always a good thing to do. So check out um, check out Lazy River wood turning and Lazy River diamond painting. Um, please also check out Crafting with Shay. Check out um, Alisa. Um, where did she go? Menk Arts and Crafts, Alisa Menk. She is a newer channel. She's just getting started and um, she has some good like unboxings on her channel and stuff. So check her out. I wish that YouTube did not get rid of that. Um... Ooh, wait, hold on. Steph says, I sent you screenshots of new releases this weekend. Okay, let's look at those really quick. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, let me not show everybody's DMs though. Okay. No! Wait, Steph, am I allowed to show these online? Or on, on the live stream? Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to show you on my phone because it's not going to let me do it on the computer. Okay. Oh, okay. So the renders are in the story anyway. Okay, so let me go to the... Okay, I'm going to show you on my phone because my computer is being stupid about this. Look how cute! kitty that's really cute so this is the new releases for this weekend right you said oh linda have a good night it was good to see you the tenders the chicken tendies <laughs> this one is so cute look at the pup in the cup <laughs> i love it it's so cute Pop in a cup. Selling the tendies again. <laughs> the owl is so cute. <laughs> I want the owl. Look at the little star in his beak. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look how cute. A puppuccino, yes. <laughs> These are so cute. Why? Why must they be so cute? A little hedgy hog. Oh. I love the hedgehog too. I think I want the owl and the hedgehog. Oh my god. How are these this cute? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my goodness. People are so talented, I tell ya. Adorable. Look at that. I love the little fox face. Cause animals are cute. I know. Cute, cute, cute. Just a little mushy rooms. <laughs> oh my god, these are so cute. <laughs> There's a frog butt. <laughs> oh look. That kitty's really pretty. Cute. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, the fox one is really cute. Let's look at that one again. Sorry for the glare and whatnot. <laughs> so adorable! So adorable! Oh my goodness, so cute. <laughs> oh, and Veronica sent me something too. This is, thank you, Veronica. This is, um, somebody, uh, Wendy, I believe, was asking about the tips earlier. 
and um, I don't know about the plastic tips, but these um, metal tips are really, really good from the Sleepy Cat store. That's okay. I shortened it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Steph. So there is Steph's um, link to her website if you want to check out the diamond paintings. And then that is the link for the thin metal multi-placers um, that are really, really good. They're from a shop on AliExpress that's called Sleepy Cat, um, and they're really, really good. So, and yeah, <laughs> I was trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> I bought 10 placers plastic from Sleepy Cat. Oh, they have plastic too. Okay, cool. I bought 10 placers plastic from Sleepy Cat store just to have, and they have, they had four and other sizes. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they had plastic too. So that's awesome. Good deal. <laughs> Good deal. So, alrighty. Well, we... Uh, we'll end it here. <laughs> it was so good to be back. I'm sad that I missed last week, and, uh, I hate doing that. I hate missing live streams. I feel, like, so disconnected, uh, when I'm not here. So, I'm glad that we got to hang out. So, I hope everybody had a good night, and I'll see you in the next one. So, have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> Bye.